In this presentation, we'll explore Rafi's Kubernetes platform as a service, with a focus on three essential use cases. The developer experience. Integrates with CI-CD pipelines for efficient code deployment and offers developer-friendly interfaces and pre-configured templates. Cluster as a service. Provides effortless Kubernetes deployment, simplifies cluster setup, and automates scaling and maintenance. Namespace as a service. Provides namespace isolation with resource quotas and access controls and enforces security through namespace level controls. Now, let's explore these key use cases in detail. We will start with developer experience. After developers get access to compute, be it a cluster or namespace, the Rafi platform offers various capabilities for an excellent developer experience. Rafi offers streamlined application deployment workflows, featuring a GUI wizard for remote deployment of YAML and Helm workloads, an integrated GitOps engine, compatible with any enterprise Git platform, native support for various CI CD tools like Jenkins, GitLab, Azure DevOps, GitHub Actions, and more. Rafi offers premier integrations with secrets managers. These are specialized managed services crafted for secure storage and management of sensitive data like API keys, passwords, and cryptographic keys. Notable examples of these integrations encompass HashiCorp's Vault and Amazon Web Services Secrets Manager. The Rafi platform features user-friendly developer dashboards and robust capabilities for collecting logs and metrics. These tools are designed to facilitate self-service and streamline troubleshooting processes. A distinctive capability of the platform is the zero trust-based kubectl access, allowing secure access from anywhere without exposing the kube API server to the public network. This significantly enhances the overall security of your Kubernetes environments. Next, let's delve into the cluster as a service capability. Many customers have diverse preferences, ranging from allocating a cluster for a developer, a development team, or a specific environment, or business unit. To meet these versatile requirements, Rafi supports on-demand cluster and environment provisioning through a templates and blueprints model. Cluster templates and blueprints ensure that all clusters provisioned from the same template and blueprints have a consistent configuration. Templates and blueprints allow you to define a standard configuration once and reuse it for multiple clusters. This significantly reduces the time and effort required to provision clusters, especially in environments where you need to create numerous clusters. While it provides a standard configuration, it also allows customization. This means you can adapt the template and blueprints, using overrides, to meet specific requirements for individual clusters or use cases without starting from scratch. Templates and blueprints help enforce governance and compliance policies by ensuring that all clusters adhere to a predefined set of configurations and security standards. When you operate numerous clusters, you often need to apply the same actions across multiple clusters for the sake of consistency, governance, and efficiency. It becomes necessary not only to know the status of each cluster, but also to ensure consistency, validate changes, and implement reconciliation logic. Also, you'd like to protect against accidental changes in the future. This is where the fleet management service becomes extremely important, fundamentally solving for consistency and governance. In the context of numerous clusters accessed by multiple users, it's crucial to offer zero trust-based access to ensure security. Enforcing role-based access controls is important to ensure users perform appropriate activities on the clusters. Additionally, auditing user actions is essential. Rafi introduces an elegant solution, providing control plane level isolation to address these needs effectively. Rafi offers intuitive dashboards and reports providing in-depth visibility into resource utilization, application health, costs, and more. In conclusion, the cluster as a service represents a flexible and powerful solution for users to allocate clusters efficiently, ensuring they have the right resources for their specific needs. This on-demand provisioning through templates and blueprints simplifies cluster management. Furthermore, the fleet management service offered by Rafi addresses the challenges of consistency, governance, and change validation in multi-cluster environments. Finally, Rafi's commitment to zero trust-based access and role-based access controls enhances the security and control of cluster operations.
In essence, Rafi's cluster as a service capability empowers organizations to efficiently manage and secure their Kubernetes clusters, fostering a more productive and secure operational environment. Next, we will explore the namespace as a service. In a shared Kubernetes environment, managing resources and maintaining isolation between different users or teams is a critical challenge. Namespace as a service is a powerful feature the Rafi platform offers to address these challenges seamlessly. At its core, Namespace as a Service is a capability that allows users to consume Kubernetes namespaces within a shared cluster. A namespace, in Kubernetes, is like a virtual cluster within a physical cluster, providing a way to partition resources. Namespace as a Service takes this concept further by offering a service layer, allowing for more efficient resource management and improved isolation. Rafi achieves cluster isolation and multi-tenancy through the implementation of an identity-based project concept. This approach enables a cluster to be shared seamlessly across multiple projects and users. Key benefits are. The admin can enforce resource quotas on users' namespaces to prevent resource hogging and ensure fair resource distribution. Namespace as a service facilitates the implementation of network policies, enhancing security by isolating namespaces and controlling communication between them. Namespace as a service is particularly beneficial in multi-tenant environments where multiple users or teams share the same Kubernetes cluster. It allows each entity to operate within its dedicated namespace, ensuring a level of autonomy for the users. Rafui offers intuitive dashboards and reports providing in-depth visibility into resource utilization, application health, and costs on a per-tenant project basis. Now, let's delve into the namespace as a service demo. My colleague will take it from here. Hello. Uh, now let's walk through the steps to create namespace as a service using the Rafe platform. Uh, before we proceed, ensure you have provisioned a Kubernetes cluster in an infra project. Uh, use a blueprint that includes the network policy add-on. Uh, to illustrate, we'll use two projects, Pepsi and Coke. Um, each project represents an isolated environment for different users or teams. Uh, next, create a Pepsi project, configure the project quotas, and deploy the namespace isolation network policy. Uh, this policy specifically permits inbound network connections to ports 443 and 80 while restricting outbound access to all other namespaces. Uh, next, we will share the cluster from the Infra project to the Pepsi project. Moving forward, let's create a namespace within the Pepsi project. Subsequently, we can assign a namespace admin role to a user specifically for the Pepsi project. Uh, this user will possess the capability to deploy resources exclusively um, within the confines of the Pepsi project. Notably, uh, applications within this namespace are restricted from communicating with other namespaces, but they can accept incoming traffic through Ingress on ports 443 and 80. Um, also note that the project resource quota constrains the overall resources that the namespaces within the project can utilize. Um, now that we've successfully created an isolated Pepsi project, you can replicate the same steps for other projects such as Coke. Uh, it's important to emphasize that both the Pepsi and Coke projects are self-contained and can only operate within the resource constraints enforced at the project level. Um, an essential capability of the Rafe platform is its support for multiple user interfaces. Up to this point, we've demonstrated the process of creating namespace as a service using the UI. However, it's noteworthy that these operations can be automated using APIs. Uh, for instance, we've encapsulated these steps into a CLI tool, enabling automation by accepting parameters for the seamless provisioning of namespace as a service. Uh, the slide showcases a CLI, uh, employing the create command along with specific arguments. These parameters are tailored to establish a namespace as a service tenants project within the Rafay platform. Uh, these arguments enable you to define essential parameters when creating a tenant project. In this case, the project is named Coke. You can set resource quota constraints for the project, uh, encompassing aspects such as CPU, memory, uh, GPU, and more. Uh, behind the scenes, this CLI 
operates by leveraging rep apis essentially automating the steps outlined at the beginning of this presentation um, this automation capability extends beyond the standard operations enabling the implementation of sophisticated and tailor-made workflows through Rafe. Um, by crafting custom tools using your preferred automation tools, you can seamlessly integrate Rafe into your existing processes. This flexibility allows for the creation of workflows precisely tailored to your requirements. Um, it's important to note that Rafe's support extends beyond APIs. We also offer Rafe Terraform provider providing users with multiple avenues for automation. Uh, the same uh, steps demonstrated here can be automated using these alternative methods, uh, offering versatility and adaptability to suit your preferred automation approach. Um, now let's run the CLI to create another project named Fanta. And uh, Take note of the arguments we pass to the command once applied. The CLI will utilize APIs to provision the steps one by one, and the progress will be visible on the screen. Uh, it will take a few more seconds, so let's wait for it to complete. Uh, now let's observe the namespace as a service in action first in the role of a privileged admin such as an organization admin examine the existing namespaces on the cluster uh, next let's examine the resources running in the pepsi tenant and then in the coke tenant um, next let's explore the pepsi users experience within the pepsi tenant switch to the screen and verify that we can see the resources in the pepsi tenant Yes, the Pepsi user is successfully accessing Pepsi tenant resources. Um, now confirm whether the Pepsi user can access resources from the Coke tenant. The RBAP restrictions will prevent this action and you should observe a forbidden response. This demonstration underscores the effectiveness of access isolation based on RBAC. Um, now, let's test if the Pepsi user can execute commands inside a pod in their tenant. As expected, the answer is yes. Um, next, test the network access from the Pepsi pod. Uh, attempt to access uh, service in the Pepsi tenant using curl. Observe that we receive a 200 OK response, confirming that it works as expected. Uh, next, test network access to a Coke service. Again, from the Pepsi pod, attempt to access a service in the Coke tenant using curl. Observe that access is blocked and the request times out. Um, I hope this uh, provided you with sufficient insights into the effectiveness of Rafe's namespace as a service feature. Uh, in conclusion, namespace as a service enhances the management and isolation of resources within a shared Kubernetes environment. Uh, moreover, the automation capabilities through APIs elevate the user experience to new heights. The ability to automate NAS operations empowers users to integrate namespace provisioning seamlessly into their workflows. Um, whether through the intuitive UI or the programmable CLI tool leveraging APIs, Rafe ensures a versatile and efficient approach to managing namespaces. Uh, this convergence of user-friendly interfaces and automation features underscores Rafe's commitment to delivering a comprehensive and adaptable Kubernetes experience for diverse user needs. Uh, thank you for your attention and we look forward to continued exploration and collaboration.